This one should have been called Sons of Lycanthropy. Come on, it was right there. Instead, it is called Hellhound. And there's actually a few movies called Hellhounds or Hellhound. And there's even another Bikers vs. Werewolves movie coming in 2024. So, Hellhounds, as it is, written and directed by Robert Conway. And this is a, um, effectively, yeah, it's a Werewolves and Bikers movie. So, it actually focuses on a number of different characters with kind of intersecting uh, storylines. Primarily, we have this um, this biker guy who is like kind of the last of his gang, so to speak. And he's actually a werewolf. And he's trying to get revenge on the, the kind of the individuals who he deems uh, responsible for killing off the rest of his gang. At the same time, you've got this uh, young boy kind of on the run with his young wife, and he seems to have been bitten by a mysterious uh, creature. You know where that's going to go. Uh, we've got this guy, uh, seemingly another guy, kidnapping um, random people and kind of putting them in a storage container, and um, these kind of hostages trying to kind of figure out a way to escape and things. And... These storylines are all going to converge and are kind of really uh, crossing paths. But effectively, uh, we have a uh, kind of werewolf uh, biker teaming up with a kind of a human bounty hunter to track down the bad guys, get revenge, and uh, various kind of misadventures on the way. That's your kind of your basic plot premise. That's all I'll go as far as that. Let's talk about what I think worked in this movie. Now, I will say I felt this movie started off on the, on the wrong foot because I didn't really feel like I got to know the characters. But I, what I will say, and if you are watching this, is by the end of it, I think it does a good job of kind of like catching you up and kind of getting you getting to know these characters, getting to know their kind of motivations and stuff. I mean, it's, it takes a little while, I feel, for um, you to kind of fully get to grips with everyone's kind of MO, so to speak. But it does get there. So just bear with it. I think the premise is actually kind of quite fun, and I actually kind of quite like the actual uh, ensemble st style of, of movie, having, you know, different kind of like story threads uh, with different kind of characters and their own uh, situations. That I kind of quite liked. I, I really quite liked our, I suppose, main bad guy, who's actually a woman, who is this kind of uh, seductive kind of female, like master that, uh, werewolf who uh, is uh, kind of really responsible for all the kind of the trouble uh, that ultimately is caused and she is uh, delightfully evil I have to say and um, is, is very kind of like seductive but also kind of spiteful and cruel at the kind of the same time and has this kind of like um, uh, evil slutty thing kind of going on and she's kind of got this hapless uh, new werewolf that she's kind of recently turned this young kind of young man for example who really doesn't know what's kind of going on uh, I, I quite enjoyed some of the kind of the characters here and even though like I've said even though I think it took a while to warm to some and some of them are not altruistic our main kind of biker guy you know we, we see him kind of murder people and stuff so you know it, he's certainly not a stereotypical kind of um, good guy protagonist but I still feel you know, he, he can, you warm to him as the kind of the film uh, progresses. And he, you know, you see he does have some uh, level of morality, even though there is uh, a killer, killer instinct with him as well. The actual practical werewolf suits, I think, are, are pretty good. Um, they are uh, fully realised kind of full body suits. And I think... When when they're you know there's actors in them and they're kind of moving around. I mean yeah they 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 look low budget and B movie. Don't get me wrong, but I they're they're good enough for someone like me who's watching this who can who's is perfectly kind of happy with that um, kind of like practical VFX. I think they look okay. I was kind of quite happy with the suits. You know they but we have facial movement on the kind of like the uh, the faces of the whales. I think the whales look a little bit distinct from one another, much like humans do. 
so you can kind of tell who's, uh, you know, who's who, for example. I really like the fact we actually have a kind of a female bad guy, a female villain, who is, uh, because she's a lot of an older werewolf, for example, she's more powerful than, than kind of like our like protagonist uh, werewolf and things like that. And, you know, there is a kind of a lot of dialogue involving kind of like biker um, terminology and things like that. So if you are a fan of, you know, things shows like Sons of Anarchy, uh, there's lots of, you know, 1% and getting you, getting you cut or whatever it is and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, there is, I feel, some, some level of enjoyment to be had if you're kind of interested in sort of biker culture and stuff like that. Also, obviously, you know, low budget kind of horror films. There's some reasonable gore in this movie, you know. Um, I, I was quite impressed with the kind of the, the practical VFX, not just the kind of the werewolf hoops, but the actual kind of gore themselves. And, um, you know, overall, I think the story was, was, was quite intriguing. Like I said, it takes a little while to get going, but once you get there, I feel, and once you get settled in, it's an interesting kind of character. There's so many kind of story threads, but they don't leave anything hanging, really, which I thought was good. I think it was so convoluted initially, I thought, man, this is going to be one of those films where things are kind of left hanging. But it, I feel it ties it up pretty well. In actual fact, I'll go so far to say, maybe this isn't a compliment necessarily, but it kind of feels like a pilot for a TV show where, you know, the, 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 the bulk of the story is kind of tied up, but there is kind of like um, a, a path forward, so to speak, for more adventures. Um, I don't know if this was made for a TV pilot. It's possibly a little gory for that, but... Uh, nonetheless, that's kind of kind of what it feels like. But overall, I think this story was enjoyable with with some interesting characters, some reasonable VFX. What doesn't work, like I've said, I think the the movie I mean, the movie's first act is a little rough. The way it introduces to the, you to the characters, um, I, I really don't feel like you you can kind of get to grips with their situation first of all. So you, the, you, you introduce to a lot of characters in quite kind of short sequences. You're not really supposed to, you know, you're supposed to know who you're meant to be kind of rooting for. Um, like we have a rival bug gang called the Silver Bullets who are werewolf hunters. So if you had told me this before going in, I was, would have presumed they were the good guys, but apparently not. Uh, so, you know, there's, it's a little bit of a rough start, to be honest. Um... It's, it's a lower budget movie, and there are budgetary restrictions that do show. I've already mentioned, I think, the werewolf suits. I actually think they're okay for me, but some people may still think, oh, wow, well, they're, they're a bit kind of cheap. I think they're fine, but what I will say in regards to the werewolf suits is there are times where I don't think they shot particularly well. Um, we get a few sequences where, they are, where you feel like the werewolf is just kind of standing around doing nothing and um, the camera kind of lingers on them and they're just kind of like hanging around and it looks a bit weird. It just looks, it looks like a few guys just like, you know, milling around ultimately. So when you look, when you're talking about werewolves, fully transformed werewolves, it seems a bit weird. Also, I didn't like the transformation sequences. They kind of use like the, that morphing technology, which if you like werewolf films, you may have seen in Bad Moon, which is like a 90s uh, werewolf film. And they use it here, but the werewolf transformation sequences happen so quickly, it doesn't really seem, you know, I know, I know we're talking about werewolves, but it just seems a bit too quick for them to kind of transform and, and like, you know, go back to kind of human form. Um, you know, so I, I didn't really like the, the kind of the transformation. It didn't seem like painful. It didn't really see, feel like your body would be changing. It almost feels like a bit like too quick they're transforming too quickly and it's not helped by some choppy editing um unfortunately as well the acting you know it's 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 a mixed bag if i'm honest i think it's okay for a kind of a schlocky b movie but there are a couple of sequences here where yeah you, you, you know we're not going to pretend that it's this fantastic oscar worthy kind of acting here it's a little it's a little cheesy it's a little kind of schlocky here and there um and because of the uh, the multiple kind of story arcs and a lot, quite frankly, a lot of characters, some of it seems a little bit peripheral. For example, we have these three hostages that are being held by this kind of one of our bad guys, who is this kind of like um, one of these ex-bikers, and. I didn't really feel they their story amounted to much, and I didn't really really understand why we needed to have three of them and have this guy, 
you know, collect three different kind of victims because they ultimately, their storyline didn't really go anywhere and we didn't really need to spend a lot of time with that, that plot there because, because it didn't go anywhere and the, the, the actual characters didn't need a huge amount of screen time because of it, but we do get that. So, odd, odd choices. Um, but, what I will say in conclusion is I gotta say I think this movie was fun. Um, I enjoyed it. I quite like the kind of the the uh, the the reaching storyline, even though it was a little a little bit of a uh, you know rocky start. And ultimately, I ended up kind of quite liking the kind of the characters. Um, so overall, I thought it was a fun movie. Flawed but fun. I'll give it a six out of ten. Uh, would you see this one? Please do let me know, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.